So um, it's kind of been a big year for me this year. Um, since the last Creative Capital Retreat, uh, 2012, um, I had a baby in the end of October. And then three months later, my father died. Can you start the video, please? Uh, my earlier work is performance-based, uh, involving my body in specific, sometimes uncomfortable situations. And being physically invested in the work has always been a part of my working process. My work has evolved in recent years uh, into longer site-specific performative narrative videos that deal with cultural imaginaries. Shangri-La is a video installation documenting various attempts to recreate its fictional eponymous subject in the real life Shangri-La, a town in Yunnan, Yunnan China, um, renamed in 2002 attract, to attract tourism. By hiring local non-actors and using existing economies to reproduce symbols such as the sacred snow mountain, the project reflects on the links between tourism, site-specific artistic, documentary, and ethnographic practices. Shot in a handheld and documentary fashion, the situations are often rendered surrealist, like the mirrored mountain, the mirrored snow mountain traveling by truck across the landscape. Route 3 is a three-channel video installation about the first highway built through the jungles of northern Laos that unites China with Southeast Asia and focuses on a boom and bust casino town built by Chinese entrepreneurs in the secluded jungles of Laos. It's going to be shown at the De Cordova Biennial this fall. Uh, my Creative Capital project continues my interest in cultural imaginaries. In this work, I return to an interest in my body as performer and the embodiment of sight through performance. It uses, a, the, it uses water as a medium of politics and poetics. My project is inspired by the book The Wandering Lake by Sven Hedin. At the turn of the 20th century, Swedish explorer Hedin was commissioned by the Chinese government to find a modern Silk Road, which was accessible uh, by car through the deserts of China. Simultaneously, he documented his journey to find and map the wandering lake. The lake had mysteriously disappeared from its original location and had been mismapped and lost before being found in a different location. I went to look for the now evaporated lake bed of the Wandering Lake in 2009, months after deadly rioting occurred in the province between the poor local Uyghur minorities and the dominant wealthy Han Chinese. Internet was cut off and the military was, were called in. I'm interested in how, when a geographical body shift positions, it displaces and calls into question the systems and the identities built up around it. It moves me to think about how unstable landscape can mirror and rupture our sense of reality, place, and self. Using the metaphor of the wandering lake as unstable geography, my project is a personal, associative narrative meditation on mourning, caregiving, geopolitics, and landscape. It moves between searching for the wandering lake in Xinjiang province in China after the ethnic rioting, to researching the shrinking of the Aral Sea, once the fourth largest inland sea, through the lens of pregnancy and mourning sickness in Uzbekistan, to watching a sperm whale corpse in the melancholic spirit of the end of empire in Moby Dick, to thinking about flow and pumping breast milk at wastewater tailings pond at Athabasca tar sands in Alberta, Canada, the third largest oil deposit in the world after Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. Alternating between the intimate human scale relationships and interactions to landscape and the earthwork, scale is an important part of the physical manifestation of the work. I plan to think about space in terms of montage and narrative and to work with a designer to create an exhibition experience of multiple performance videos, sculptures, and drawings that associatively pull together the disparate themes of the project. Along with a multi-room installation, I'd like to create a performative lecture cycle that would unfold over an extended period of time within the exhibition. I don't have a venue yet, but I'd like to com complete the project by fall of 2014.
Thank you.